Welcome to Made on Maple Street. I'm Andrea, and I'm glad you're here. Summer has unofficially arrived, and that means the 4th of July is right around the corner. If you enjoy adding a bit of patriotic flair to your home decor, continue watching to see six simple DIY home decor projects that you can make without breaking the bank. Let's get started. For this quick DIY, I started with a wooden rainbow from Target. I used a baby wipe to apply a coat of antique wax to the entire rainbow. Once the wax dried, I added red, white, and blue stripes using paint markers. To add sparkle to the piece, I picked up tube confetti and glass beads from the Crafter Square section at Dollar Tree. I covered each stripe with tacky glue and then sprinkled the corresponding confetti and beads over the glue. Then I lightly pressed the confetti and beads into the glue and tapped off the excess. After all three stripes were covered, this quick craft was finished. If you're a fan of easy, affordable DIY projects and seasonal decor, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of my content in the future. This project is one of my personal favorites. I started with a wood panel from Dollar Tree. I gave the inside of the panel two coats of white chalk paint. While the white paint was still wet, I used a makeup sponge to randomly add steel chalk paint to the panel. Then I blended the colors together using the same paintbrush I used earlier. Next, I gave the outside of the panel two coats of black chalk paint. While the paint was drying, I used my Cricut machine to cut out the text and dog decal for the sign. Since the text was three different colors, I added small squares to the corners to help me align the pieces. After all the words were in place, I removed the squares and applied the dog decal. The fonts and tools I used in this video are linked below if you're interested. Next, I added red and blue lenses to the glasses and finished the piece by adding white stars and stripes to the lenses. Murphy thinks the sign would be better if the dog was a golden doodle, but he says the lab will do for now. Are you on Instagram? I'd love to connect with you there. Come find me at Made on Maple Street. For this piece, I started with a Dollar Tree mason jar shelf sitter that I had in my craft stash. I removed the jute twine, bow, and metal piece from the top of the jar and set them aside for later. Then I peeled the paper off the front of the jar. Next, I gave the front, back, and sides of the jar a coat of plaster chalk paint. Once the jar was dry, I painted the front, sides, and back of the lid with a silver paint marker. To add fabric to the front of the jar, I disassembled a Dollar Tree Christmas stocking and cut a piece to fit. I applied a generous amount of Mod Podge to the jar and pressed the fabric into the Mod Podge.
When the Mod Podge dried, I used a craft knife to cut off the excess fabric. I used hot glue to reattach the metal piece to the top of the jar. I rewrapped the twine around the top and secured it in place with more hot glue. I made a small bow out of a scrap piece of raffia, glued the original bow to the center of the new bow, and attached both bows to the top of the jar. I found a fabric banner in my craft stash and thought the blue fabric would be the perfect addition to my jar. After removing the blue flag from the banner, I cut it into a rectangular shape and secured it to the jar with Mod Podge. I cut a smaller rectangle from the fabric that was at the top of the Christmas stocking. I used letter stamps from Michaels to add the words America the Beautiful to the fabric. Then I placed one Dollar Tree thumbtack into each corner of the fabric and secured it to the mason jar. I felt like the twine bow needed tails, so I added some that I cut from scrap pieces of twine, and that was the perfect finishing touch for this rustic piece. I was drawn to these window clings as soon as I saw them at Dollar Tree, so I decided to turn them into a patriotic sign. I started by trimming off the border from around the pieces. I wanted the sign to have dimension, so I put a light layer of Mod Podge on a scrap piece of Dollar Tree foam board and placed the window clings on the foam board. Then I added a layer of matte Mod Podge over the window cling so they wouldn't be shiny. Next, I took the backing out of a rectangular frame from Dollar Tree. I removed the paper from the backing and gave it a coat of white chalk paint. While the white paint was still wet, I used a makeup sponge to randomly add steel chalk paint to the panel. Then I blended the colors a bit using the same paintbrush I used earlier. While waiting for the paint to dry, I used a hot knife to cut out the window clings I adhered to the foam board. I like using the hot knife because it cuts through the foam board more easily than a regular craft knife. If you choose to use this tool, be careful because it gets very hot. Once the window clings were cut out, I placed them on the picture frame in many different ways until I was happy with the arrangement. I secured the window clings to the sign using tacky glue, and that was it for this simple piece. For this project, I started with three small rectangular wood frames from Michaels. I removed the twine hangers from the backs of the frames and filled in the holes with wood filler. After sanding the spots with my sanding sponge, I painted the frames with antique wax and used a baby wipe to wipe away the excess. I purchased this cute sign from Dollar Tree and removed the popsicles from the bottom. I could have kept them the way they were, but I didn't want my signs to have any glitter, so I decided to give the popsicles a makeover. First, I peeled the paper off of the popsicles. Then I gave the tops of the popsicles a coat of white chalk paint. I gave the popsicle sticks a coat of hazelnut chalk paint. 
To create the designs on the popsicles, I cut stars and stripes designs out of stencil vinyl and stuck them in place. I put a light coat of Mod Podge on the edges of the stencil vinyl to prevent bleeding. Once the Mod Podge dried, I got busy painting the popsicles with crimson and ocean paint. They would also be cute if they were painted with bright summer colors too. When the paint dried, I removed the vinyl and painter's tape to reveal these fun, patriotic designs. Next, I glued three tumbling tower blocks together for each popsicle. I attached a set of tumbling tower blocks to the back of each popsicle and secured them to the rectangular frames with hot glue. I love the whimsical touch these popsicles add to my patriotic decor. When I think of summer, I think of cookouts, so I thought it would be fun to create an interchangeable barbecue stand. I started with a crate stand that I made in a previous video. To make the sign for the top of the stand, I took a craft stick from a package I bought at Walmart. I wanted the ends of the sign to be jagged, so I used my steel snips to cut notches in both ends of the craft stick. After sanding the rough edges on the ends of the stick, I gave the front and sides a coat of white chalk paint. I used my Cricut machine to cut the word barbecue out of black vinyl and applied it to the center of the craft stick. To make a small sign for the front of the crate, I removed the clothespin from the back of a Dollar Tree chalkboard tag. Then I applied the text grillin' and chillin' that I cut out of white vinyl. To assemble the piece, I took three button magnets from a package I purchased at Dollar Tree and placed one magnet on each of the existing magnets on the crate. I used hot glue to attach the chalkboard tag to the bottom magnet. Then I put hot glue on the top magnets and stuck the barbecue sign onto those magnets. To make a banner for the stand, I cut a piece of jute twine and tied knots in the ends. I wrapped the twine around the front of the crate and clipped it into the clothespins on the back. I cut small triangle pieces out of the blue banner piece from earlier and carefully glued the triangles to the twine, trying not to get any glue on the crate. To go along with the barbecue theme, I purchased a mini grill from Michael's and set it in front of the crate. I purchased a set of mini flower pots at Dollar Tree and filled one of them with pieces of a silver sparkly pick because I thought they looked like sparklers. Next, I filled a mini glass jar with red, white, and blue polymer sprinkles and set it on top of the crate. I filled a larger glass jar with red, white, and blue polymer straws and set that on the crate as well. It would have also looked cute with many hamburgers and hot dogs, but I couldn't find any at my local craft stores. A subscriber mentioned making embellishments out of polymer clay, and I thought that was a great idea. That wraps up today's video. I hope you found some inspiration to create a few home decor DIYs of your own. Which project from the video was your favorite? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.